Mike Still here for Bison's TV, proudly presented by The Hub. Here with second year pole vaulter, Emily Blackner. Emily, how are you doing this morning? Good, how are you? I'm doing really well, thank you. Uh, let's talk about your origins in the sport to begin with. Gymnastics background, got into pole vaulting in university. How did that come about? So I did gymnastics for 12 years, and then in my second year of university, um, the coaches kind of pulled me towards pole vault. You know, it's a good transition from gymnastics. You have that body awareness, and just took it from there. Talking about body awareness, maybe for people that are unaware about like gymnastics or what goes into it, what comparisons or similarities could you make between pole vaulting and gymnastics? I think one of the biggest comparison would be like the swing. You learn a lot of that doing um, the uneven bars in gymnastics, and that kind of transfers over to vault. Mm. Awesome. It, yeah, very interesting. Um, but the strength, I'm sure that you need like upper body strength to yes, do those of kinds course. of things. Let's talk about uh, your career as a bison. Uh, I, last season, torn ACL. Yes. Uh, maybe talk to me about the recovery from that and how you're able to bounce back. Um, about six months after my surgery, I kind of started. Taking it slow, jogging, getting back up to running, and then at about seven months, I was back jumping um, on the pit, and just kind of took it from there. Incredibly impressive, seven months, you know, back out there, and not only back out there, but this year you broke a program record in the uh, in the vault. I believe it was a three point nine three meter. Yeah. I guess I'll just call it a vault. Um, uh, what were your emotions like after accomplishing that, uh, especially considering uh, you know the injury that you had just seven months prior? Mm -hmm. So coming back um, into vault, my expectations were just kind of get back to where I was my first season. So to break the record, that was really awesome, and um, yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about just the form required for pole vaulting. Again, this is for people that maybe are unaware. Um, maybe talk to you about the steps you take, uh, and then like how you dig the. <laughs> How you dig it in and just get above the bar. I mean, that verbiage made no sense, but you'll be able to explain better Yeah, than me. for our full approach, typically it's about seven strides, which is 14 steps running up. About halfway through, um, you start initiating the plant and dropping the pole. For the plant, you just want to try and get your hands straight up above your head and then a fast swing and up over the bar. You make it sound very easy, it surely isn't. I still don't know how you do that, it's very impressive. Uh, let's talk about just uh, individual performance aside from the record this season. Can West Championships, a third place finish. Uh, yeah. yeah, how did you feel about that? Very competitive this year in Can West in terms yeah, of right. pole vaulters. Coming third was obviously great. Uh, the girls there, they're such great competitors, so it was awesome just to be in the top three with them. In third place, with a vault of 3 meters 80, from the Manitoba Bisons, Emily Blackner. Now, Nationals were hosting, obviously, and uh, the confines of uh, the James Daly Fieldhouse here. Very exciting stuff. Are uh, you looking forward to being at home for Nationals? I'm sure you'll have a lot of fans out and crowd support here for your, uh, your goal of, obviously, a top three finish. Absolutely. I mean, it's great to be at home, sleep in your own bed, eat your own food. You're used to the environment and the surroundings, so that'll be a great advantage, and I look forward to the competition. Well, all the best. Emily, I, again, wish you all the best of luck. I'm looking forward to seeing you out there. Thank you very much.